All right, so now we are going to create a new sequence for all of the B-roll clips. We will go in the project panel here, click on new item, click sequence, and up pops the sequence presets. So as you can see, we are going to go with the 1080 23.98 sequence. Where it says sequence name here, we will type in B-roll and we will push OK. We will double click on the ACAM folder and we're going to click on the tab here that says video info so that it is organized by the video's info. So by doing that, we have all of the 1920 by 1080 footage first. As we scroll down to the bottom, you can see that we have the remaining 4K clips at the bottom. I will scroll back up to the top of the bin here, click on clip five, hold down shift on my keyboard, scroll down to the bottom and click on clip 44. So they're all highlighted. I'm now going to scroll back up to the top. So I'm grabbing the first clip here and I'm going to drag it down by highlighting all of the clips in the ACAM bin and then going back to the top and dragging them down from the first top clip it ensures that the organization will appear the same way it does in this bin as it does in the timeline and you can check that by seeing that the first clip up here is clip four if we go into our timeline you can see it begins with clip four i will close the a cam bin and next i'm going to delete all of the clips that have dialogue you can tell because they are the clips with the waveforms i'm deleting them because right now we are going to be focusing on the b-roll so highlighted and we'll delete those and before we move forward with scaling down the 4k clips and choosing selects i'm going to show you a tool that i use often in premiere pro that i absolutely love and it is called ripple delete the ripple delete tool is great because it very quickly removes all of the empty or negative space in between your clips. So what we're going to do is in the project panel here, click on new item. We will go down to color mat and click on that. Push OK in this window that's popped up. And as you can see, the color that's selected is black. That's fine. We'll push OK. We will choose a name for this new mat. We'll call it black push OK. Next, we will drag down this color mat onto the V2 track. I'm going to put my cursor close to that new color mat and push the plus key on my keyboard. OK, I've made sure that this color mat is all the way at the very beginning of the sequence and it's aligned with the first clip. I'm going to push minus on my keyboard and you'll see that this little red tool comes up. While I have the black color mat highlighted, this is going to allow me to drag the color mat all the way out. And you want to drag it past this last clip, so it kind of hangs over the end there. Next, we will highlight all of the clips on the video track 1, drag them up to video track 2 where the black mat is. While they're still highlighted, we will drag them back down to V1. And now we're going to highlight the mat on video track two. Once it's highlighted, right click on that and go up to ripple delete. And there we go. That has removed all of the negative space in between each of these clips. That's how you use ripple delete to get rid of empty spaces quickly on your timeline. In the next lesson, we will look at how to scale 4K clips, and we will choose our select clips for this video edit.